Hi YouTube. So I'm just making this video to show you how to tell the difference between a um, real Louis Vuitton item and a fake one. Um, before I bought um, these items here, I um, was looking at YouTube for some videos to really show you how to tell the difference. And I couldn't really find a good quality one. So I'm, I'm, I'm just starting to make one just so I can help other people out because I know that, you know, not everyone could f um, these are really expensive items here and you're going to probably buy them online. Sometimes they may be used or even new. And I just don't want anyone, want anyone to be like tricked by them because like, these are expensive and you're spending a lot of money on it. Um, if you never owned one before and this is your first one you're buying, um, chances are you won't know how it feels like or what you look for. But here's a little tutorial. So like here's three items here. Uh, right off the bat, I mean, if you're looking at this picture, if I put a, post it online, pretend I'm selling on eBay, it's pretty much like impossible to tell like which one's a fake one and which one's a real one. But I'm going to go off, um, right off the bat, this is the real one here. I know these are all different kind of patterns, but this will give you like a general idea of what to look for. So um, starting off by this one, how you could tell, how you could t let's start by the real one then. The, how you tell this is the real one, the real one is just by the way, like, if you could, this is used, but um, it's thin. It doesn't make any noises when you do anything like this. It just feels, it just feels like it's um, authentic. This one here, which is the same kind of style, it's, you, you can wrap the back and just tell it's fake just because of the fact that if you just do something like this, you hear that? I'm gonna put it next to the microphone. It makes this weird plasticky noise. Um, also, the fact that um, when you have a wallet, um, leather-wise, it shouldn't bulk up like this. It just feels really, really bulky here, versus this one, which is it's just made thin. It, made, it makes it made it like it's supposed to fit perfectly. And the fact that they um, Louis Vuitton actually used leather in leather lining, and this is made out of canvas, um, it shouldn't do something like this. Because when it's made out of leather inside here, it should um, like mold to the shape over time, not like this weird plasticky shape. Um, another way you can tell is that um, the pattern here. If you go on their website, uh, they have like a demo picture of what the product should look like on Louis Vuitton's website. The pattern here should line up exactly to that picture on the website. It should look pretty close to it. Uh, maybe like a little bit off. Um, here, I think there's like one third of. Um, like there's a difference of that. Like let's say this pattern here. Um, for some reason, if you look up close here, we could zoom up on it. Let's see if this will focus. Come on camera. So if you look at this pattern here, you see how it cuts off here. And for some reason, the pattern ends up cutting off like right here. That should be fine as well because like I know Louis Vuitton has. It's not like going to be like 100% exact, but pretty close to it. Um, judging from this fake one here. Uh, if you look at the website, this one looks pretty close to it, like 100% close to what they have lined up there, uh, which is pretty good. Also, the fact that you can tell this is one piece of canvas here. Um, like for example, here, I'll show you this one here. You can, see, you can see that this one, it lines up like this. All the patterns are exactly the same, but when you fold it up, this is backwards here. It's supposed to be backwards. So for some reason, you find this one online, and um, this one shows us like this, and this one, this side here shows us flipping the other way. That's obviously, that's a great sign it's, it's fake. But it's one piece of canvas, which is why it's showing the pattern the same all the way around, which is pretty cool. Um, on this one here, you can tell this is fake because on this side here, uh, if you look at the website, this is clearly the wrong pattern on, on the front here. Um, let's see, the back actually looks pretty real. But uh, one thing you should look for, you're buying a new one, this should definitely be straight. Like all these little squares should be straight. If you, for some reason you see some weird angle or like it's slightly off in any way, um, it's obviously you know not real. Um, if you're buying this on eBay or like um, Amazon, you you should be fine regardless if it's fake or not because eBay and, and Amazon has really really good buyer's protection. So let's say you end up buying this item and it looks really real online, but it ends up being fake when you get it in person, or you could tell um, a little more detail when you see it actually in hand. Um, you know, just contact eBay or Amazon, they're great about that. Uh, especially if you contact the seller like multiple times asking, hey, is this real, is this real, is this real? Um, also, when you, if you buy online, just be smart because if you're buying it, like for example, I bought this well, this one from a seller that only had like 42 ratings and this is his first item that he's selling of this brand. Um, you know, that wasn't smart of me, but I was just, you know, giving him, him as, like a grain of salt because I've been there before too, you know, we all sell stuff and, um, you know, we try to be honest, but Obviously, you know, I got misled here. I don't think the seller knew this was fake either, but um, anyways, this this one I bought from a seller on eBay. He was um he was from Japan, he was more reputable, he has definitely a lot more ratings. 
and uh, his specialty was this item here. So, I mean, I was more confident when I bought this item than this one here. But anyways, um, let's go. Let's continue on the video. And, um, other than the pattern and just like the feel of it, it shouldn't feel like so flimsy. It's a little more durable. Like it really Louis Vuitton stuff doesn't. It has like it feels more smooth when you bend this one. It doesn't feel smooth. It's like hard in some spots, and it feels really. I don't know. It doesn't feel right. I mean, if you if you could, if you live near one of the stores, like the retail stores, if you know, or if you know someone with some of these some of these products, just have them like let you touch it, see how it feels like. Because I mean, w once you have a good sense of like how the material is supposed to feel like, you have you could have a better judgment about you know if it's real or not. Um, visually, I mean, you just have to go off like let's say for example, I saw the real one, I saw the real one of this in person, uh, in in store. I mean. Um, if you look on top of here, there's like this weird um, plastic, like raising, glazing, to prevent the leather or like the canvas and the leather from separating. The real one doesn't have this glazing on top of here. Um, also on top of here as well. Uh, the material is definitely a lot thinner than what the real one should be like. Uh, same from same for the um, the material here. Also like um, little details like let's see, like this right here it looks. But um, the detail that this one here, I could barely tell it's even fake other than the way it feels and just like, um, like this is normal for like some products because, you know, it's, it's a wallet, right? Or a, um, something you carry with you daily. So it's going to warp or deform as you wear it, use it more. Um, so I could, I was a little hesitant to determine this was fake until like I looked at this here, the little hot stamp or the not hot stamp, but the trademark stamp. I'm not really sure what this is exactly called. But like, you look here. The, the only thing, the only reason why I was able to tell this is fake is because the R, isn't like pr perfect. Isn't center perfect. Also the S there, it's really off from the rest of the text there. I'm really sure. There you go. You can't see it now. The S and the S on the Paris and the Spain, they look exactly the same. And then that shouldn't, it shouldn't be like that. Like if you look at this one here, this is a real one here. It'll show the same kind of text. You'll see the S there is more curved. It's a different font than the one, in, um, the word in Paris, as you can tell there. That's, a, that's how you can tell it's real because um, the fonts here are very specific. If you look at this, this is, a, this is how the real one should look like. So based on every one of the products that they have here, Louis Vuitton has, it should look just like this because I mean, these this, these things cost how much money? Like two hundred and fifty dollars for this retail new. They're not going they're not going to BS this stamp here. This is going to be exact every single time. If you're spending that much much money on it, their quality control must be pr pretty 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 on par. So they would never let something like this like, um, go out of the factory or well, not the factory, but you know, they're all handmade. But they would never let something like this go out because it's not up to their standards, especially when so much money uh, spend so much money on this. So the S there is definitely. The wrong, the wrong font. Also, like the sizing here. This is like pretty perfect. Everything looks really, really, really like fine. Um, no, no flaws at all right here. I mean, there could be a little bit of flaws. I've seen that. I've seen. I've seen some pictures on eBay of little stuff like maybe um, I don't know. Like the R is not centered properly. A little off. But that could be fake too. But the seller looks pretty reputable. But um, anyways, like just by looking at this stuff, that's how you tell. You won't be able. To, it's really hard to see in a picture unless they have like a really high quality camera. But um, yeah, from in person, you definitely notice a big difference if you um, compare it to a real one, of course. Um, let's see, Wells. Maybe this. Oh no, it's really hard to say. Is this the way it feels? Doesn't feel like right. Also, um, another thing you should also look for is smell. So if, like for example, this is the real one here again. Um, the lining they use leather to line it up. It smells pretty, it smells pretty like, it smells like leather. It smells like what it should be like. This one here, it smells like some weird chemical smell. I'm really not sure how to explain it, but it doesn't smell, it doesn't smell right. And that's a good, that's a good turn off or give off that this is fake. Unless it smells like maybe cigarettes or something like that. I guess the person that owned this probably smoked, but uh, other than that, it's just, you know, it's not, it doesn't smell like the materials. Same for this one here. This is definitely not like the materials. And also it has this weird plasticky smell. It doesn't it doesn't even feel like canvas. It smells like feels like plastic. This one, it's hard to say, but just the way it squeaks like that doesn't is not what they should do. And also the way the way it feels so bulky. It, does, it shouldn't feel this bulky. 
this one here just feels perfect. Nice and thin, feels good. Um, yeah. Another thing you should look for is also like, here's a trademark stamp on this one. I can't really see this one. This is obviously fake. The R is way too big. The proportions are off. The France is the wrong font. I mean, it's flaking off. It shouldn't be flaking off like this, this badly. But um, another thing you should look for is, I'm not sure what the date stamp on this one is, but um, there's also like a date stamp here. It tells you when it's made. Um, so, I mean, I can't really, I can't remember, I can't memorize what the exact um, like formula is. But like, for example, like this one here says uh, CA, CA0041. Uh, the CA stands for like the area is made in. Uh, I'll, I'll post a link on how you find that. So this was made in Spain. And that should match up with what it says here, made in Spain. So that, that's that's correct. That's a good um, turn off. It's real. Another thing it says that it was actually made in 2001. If they had the receipt, you could tell um, what year the receipt was. It shouldn't. I mean, if as long as it's not like heck off, like maybe like 10 years off, or maybe five years off, it should be okay. Like let's say this 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 was made in 2001, but the guy bought in 2002. That seems that seems right. I mean, they might have products lined up, or they might have um like product from last year still that hasn't sold. Um, this one says it's made in 2004. It's like it matches up too, so which is really really crazy because this is like, um, if you if you weren't like, if you didn't do research and you just bought this online and you got it, um, I mean it's pretty convincing, really 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 convincing. But this is pretty accurate too. So this is CA 00A4. I think this is the one I was mentioning earlier. There's Barco here. This says it's made in 04. That's what they say, and it's made in Spain, which is right here, correct? So look for something like that. Look for the barcode and verify that where it's made and where the barcode states. They're, they're both matching up. Um, other than that, I mean, it's... Just be smart when you buy stuff you use or online, especially even used or new regardless. Um, make sure the seller's reputable. Uh, make, sure the, make sure it's from the eBay or Amazon. I mean, the return policy there is great. Or if you go for, to like another website, make sure they have a good return policy because... You know, you never know what you're gonna get in the mail. Even though they have a good ratings or a good seller, you might get like a really, you might get a scammer, and it might be really, really good. <laughs> but just make sure you, uh, you know, you know what you're looking for. Um, this one here, the only reason why I was able to tell it's fake, other than the way it feels, it's just like that this uh, trademark stamp here. Um, just judging by how like sharp this one is and like how um, badly this one was stamped it on, I just know right off the bat this is fake because. Like I said earlier, these are really, really expensive products that they have really high quality control on. They would never let something like this go. Um, feel free to leave comments or questions you ask me. I'm not an expert on this, of course. I mean, I could be wrong. This would be real, but I'm pretty confident this is fake. I bet my, I bet like a lot of money that this is fake. Um, I could, you know, help you out, give you a little bit of resource. Cause I know that it was really hard for me to do. Uh, purchase things online with. And f or find um video or videos or anything about this, but I'll I'll post a link up on the dates, uh, how how you tell when it's made, and uh, where it was made from. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll answer them as soon as I can.